All right, let's go try to ask Scarlet out. Unless she's sleeping. She's doing her puzzle. Hi, hi, Scarlet. Yeah, it's been a while. You heard the. La 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 la. She's the one staying up late too. Hey, Scarlet, I love you. I'm not a fan of these kind of jokes. Please don't do this again. All right, we failed, but let's reload and keep doing it. It it was it was literally the second time. <laughs> The, the guy that I saw online made it seem like it was going to be a daunting task, but really? <laughs> Excuse me, you can't be serious. Don't pull these sorts of pranks on me. It's not a prank, this is real. You're That's... serious. Yeah, I am. Yeah. Please go out with me. Oh, hmm. I see. Never would I have believed that you feel that way about me. I already know what my answer is, but could I please ask you to wait? I'd like some time to organize my thoughts so I can give you a clear and precise response. Please meet me tomorrow at 10 a.m. at the Pond of Hope. I'll have my answer ready by then. Yes. All right, see you then. Yay! Don't mind my little crew, my squad. But yeah, we get to go out with Scarlet now. I'm so happy. I hope she has some good nicknames. All right, with the squad, let's go see what Scarlet has to say. I'm really excited about the nicknames. I wonder if she'll have any good ones. Came. You said you'd give me an answer? Um, yes. yes, that I did. Frankly, I'm not sure where to begin. I thought I prepared myself yesterday, but now that the time's come, my mind has gone completely blank. There's okay. no rush. Take your time and start from the beginning. Yes, of course. In the beginning, you annoyed me, to be brutally honest. I know the field captain ordered it herself, but for her to recruit you as a ranger right after you waltz into town... We are a proud and honorable organization. I had to wonder if Captain Livia had taken leave of her senses. Uh, yeah, I can see that. Whoa, she's getting closer. No, I was no. wrong to think that way. You were dealing with your own troubles having lost your memories. Yeah, even though I treated you coldly, you always acted polite and friendly towards me. It wasn't just me either. Every day you give, you give, you give your all for everyone in Rigbar. You're warm and kind and caring. I know better now. You're exactly the type of person who belongs in Seed. <laughs> wow, I never knew you thought that way about me. I didn't, not at first. We were partners on paper, but it took a while before I could trust you to have my back. Then eventually, I realized that wasn't enough. I wanted to be your partner not only in work, but also outside of it. I wanted to be with you all the time. Oh, she's blushing, so she's out. Yes, that's it. Now I remember what I wanted to say. I want to be with you, not just as a colleague, but as something more. I'm falling in love with you. My answer to your quest is yes. Oh, thank goodness. She's so cute. Trust me, I'm the one who's feeling relieved right now. I was worried right up until the last moment that you turned around and say no. Even though I confess first? But I was so curt with you when we first met. I wouldn't be surprised if you thought of me as an uptight stick in the mud. I never think that. I'm just glad that I earned your trust. Really? I'm glad to hear that. Oh, Oh, look at her covering her face! She's so cute! So, um, I guess this means that we're now, uh, as of this moment, officially... Yeah, we're dating. Right, it's dating. Look at her, she's so cute, what the heck? Actually, Excuse I'd me. like to ask you something, if you don't mind. Sure, what is it? Yesterday, while trying to figure out how to best express my feelings, I read a... I read through a handful of reference books. <laughs> Not just manuals, of course, but also a few romance novels. And, um, I noticed a common thread in those books. The couples would give each other endearments, loving little nicknames. Ah, uh, makes sense. So what would you like me to call you? Dear, dearest milady. Partner? Mistress? Highness? Rival? Okay, partner? I might have to go with partner. I might have to go with partner. I wish I knew what we would call her. I think I might have her call me partner. I actually like that because I called my <laughs> my now husband partner for years. That's how I um, kind of referred to him as. Do I have dearest or dear already? Let me make sure. I have darling. I do have dear dearest. Uh, Priscilla calls me that. So yeah, we'll just go with partner. I think I like that one a lot. Understood. 
Now then, what will you call me? Let me think, I'll call you... Scarlet, Miss Scarlet, big S. <laughs> Letty, that one's cute, wait, that one's adorable. Milady, Scout, Honey. We're going with Letty. Wait, I didn't type any of these out. Partner and Letty. That's actually really cute. Oh, uh, could you try it out? I want to hear what that sounds like. Sure thing, yes. Letty. I'm really looking forward to getting to know you better. Me partner. too, partner. Me too. Oh, they're cute! Oh my god, they're adorable. Okay, uh, tomorrow we'll ask her out on our first official date. It's gonna be pretty easy to get Scarlet to, to ask her out and stuff because she's just right here at the silo. <gasps> no! I can't ask her out! What is this? These girls in town are throwing a pajama party tonight. Meet them at the end this evening. Okay. That absolutely hurts me! Partner. Why the serious face partner is something wrong? Yeah, I have to go to a slumber party tonight that I didn't want to go to. You didn't touch your leeks again, did you? Oh, uh, well, you see, no, I did not. Leeks are good for you, so you need to eat them, all right? Understood. I'll try harder next time. You're asking me to go on a date with you? As a role model for our community, a date seems like the last activity I ought to engage in. Oh, okay, then we'll call it off. What? You don't want to? Wait, really you're teasing no. me, partner. That was rude. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help myself. To make it up to you, I'll do anything you want to do. Anything? Well then, I'll put together a schedule for tomorrow's date. Great, where do you want to meet up? How, do, how about at 10 a.m. in front of the restaurant? Sounds good, I can't wait to see what you got planned for us tomorrow. It'll be very entertaining, I promise. Does that mean I overrided the, the pajama party? Oh. Um... Okay, yeah, we'll do Scarlet's. I feel like Scarlet's is more important. Maybe we'll see the pajama party after we're done dating Scarlet. All right, we're gonna start our first date with Scarlet, our partner. Oh gosh, she's got a notebook. <laughs> well, I'll begin with the meal, the next will. Wow, that whole page is covered in teeny tiny writing. Um, um, Letty? Oh, partner. partner. I didn't see you there. I, I prepared the perfect agenda for us. Let's get right to it. Okay. Alright, let's do it. I mean, but having the plan's not bad. I like knowing what we're getting into. Since today is a special day, we'll begin with the chef's special. <laughs> well, the chef's special? You must be brave to order that. Yeah, Martin said that it can be a hit or miss. I've been curious about the chef's special for some time now. I thought it would be nice to finally try it with you. It does sound interesting. I wonder what we'll get. <laughs> oh god, Elsha's here. So much work. Did you two really have to order that? Well, today's our first date. Um, must you be so forward about it? Oh, really? Honestly, I don't know why you even bother making the effort to go out in the first place. Dating's such a pain in the butt. Why not just head home and get straight to the good part? Whoa, you Elja! Machine? You cannot say that to us! You cannot say that to us! On our first date, that's far too indecent. We would never do such a thing. Well, okay, if it's a special okay. occasion, I can't really say Jeez, no. What a pain. I'll whip something up for you real quick. Wait just a minute. Bro... Oh wow! Oh wow! That looks so good. Wow, this amazing. is amazing. Well, you're lucky. Hooray! Today's dishes came out really delicious. So there are days <laughs> when they don't. So we've found I out. It's time to eat. Let's dig in before it goes cold. Heck yeah, that all looks delicious. God, we couldn't eat it all. That was delicious. I don't know if I can eat another bite. And yet, no matter how much we eat, we can hardly make a dent in all this food. Oops. Well, sorry. you did say today was a special day. I thought I'd poke a little, I mean, have a little fun and go all out. Poke a little? <sighs> and for the cherry on top, your meal is on the house. Enjoy. Now I'm gonna go lie down. Elsha! <laughs> okay, thanks! Um, can we even finish all this? It would be rude not to. It might take a while, but let's keep chipping away at it. 
Uh, I don't want to be impolite, but my schedule... Maybe we can give it away? I don't know. Damn. Our whole- did we spend the whole day just eating food? Whoa! Thanks! Thanks for the show, Mr. Lucas! Wow, that was Thanks. fun. I love seeing your magic tricks. Ah, hello, Alice mm -hmm. Scarlet. You seem awfully heavy on your feet. Oh, yeah, <laughs> we had a really big meal. I hate to bother you, but your mag magic show won't ha happen to be over, would it? Yes, we yes. just finished. I thought as much. If you're looking forward to it, I suppose I could perform an encore. Allow me to show you one of my special tricks. No, uh, that's alright. We already pressed for time. Come on, come all. Gather around and marvel as I perform one last wonder for the day. I have here in my hand one of young Julian's favorite treasures. A piece of wood. A block of wood with a pattern on it that closer resembles young Hina. How come? Hey, how come you keep switch, swing, swiping my stuff for your magic tricks? It looks like a monster's face. Ah, uh, look at the time. We'll be late. Letty, what's wrong? One, two, three. I snap my fingers and... Partner, we have Let's to go off. now. What? Mm -hmm. Why? The encore isn't over yet. Lucas, I'm sorry. Scarlet, Letty, chill. Where are we running off to? <laughs> Why the big hurry? What are we late for? There, that. Oh, Whoa. wow. The sunset? I noticed this during patrol. I've wanted to show it to you for a long time. The moment you asked me out, I knew this would be the last item on my agenda for our first date. I'm so glad we made it in time. Too bad the rest of my schedule went completely to waste. There are so many other fun things I had planned for today. We'll save those things for next time. Oh, <sighs> yes, that's right. There will be a next time. Sticking to my schedule stressed me out so much that I lost sight of my goal. No wonder it didn't work out. Having a schedule is nice, or kind of knowing a, kind of what you're going to do that day. But if things happen, you should really just go with the flow, in my opinion. It's okay. Don't feel bad. You did great. I'm perfectly happy just being here with you. Uh, my apologies. That's... I had such little time to prepare. It's okay, let's stay here like this for just a little while longer, please? Alright. Huh? Uh, Letty, there's something in your pocket. Huh? huh? Oh, this is Julian's block of wood! Ah, uh, now I get it. Lucas put it there for his final magic trick. If I carried this way all the- If I carried this all the way home, that would make me a thief. I must return this immediately. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, bye, Letty! Well, but there that's... goes the mood. <laughs> Holy shit, it took my whole day. That's okay. That was actually really nice. Let's actually go talk to her because I didn't talk to her in the square before. And my my people are gone. <laughs> I don't know why sometimes they take my people away and then sometimes they don't take my people away. Partner. Let's see here. I believe we'd be more efficient if we went on patrol together, just saying. Then I say we try doing just that. Y'all are ridiculous. Since we wake up in the same house, I think I'll just ask her out here. <laughs> I was gonna say, maybe after she puts her or her day clothes on. Partner. Nowadays, I feel lonely when I'm by myself. Is that strange? I feel the same way. In fact, I'll always be with you if I could. Thank what? God. Wait, always? I think it might be a, little, a bit early for that. She's very slow with it, but that's okay. I've been hoping that you ask me out again. This time, let's keep our schedule open and enjoy a casual, leisurely date. Oh, yeah. I like that idea. In order well, to make then. the most efficient use of our time tonight, I'll study up on the proper relaxation methods. Uh, I think at that point, stop being casual or leisurely. Do you mind if we meet tomorrow at 10 a.m. in front of the inn? I'm Sounds good to me. To I can hardly wait. All right. Um, Valentine's Day is coming up. After our date with Scarlet... We're gonna make a save and obviously ask out all the people we're dating to go out on Valentine's Day. Uh, which will include Riker, Lumilla, Reinhardt, Beatrice, Morkumo, Priscilla, Martin, and then finish it off with Scarlet as our main, um, uh, what's it, what's it called? <laughs> Not main, but like our 
canon event <laughs> going forward. Um, but that's going to be probably quite a bit. I, it's probably going to be like, oh, can we meet at 7 p.m.? Which I'm going to have to wait all day for. But we'll do it um, after our date with Scarlet tomorrow. All right, our next date with Letty. Sorry to keep you waiting, Letty. Sorry to keep you waiting. It's not like I was waiting here all this time just for you, dummy. Huh? <laughs> oh, why are you talking like that? Oh, I'm sorry, did I get it wrong? In the reference book I borrowed from Priscilla, the heroine generally spoke that way to her love interest. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that book probably isn't the best reference. Oh, I see. I'm afraid I'm very inexperienced in these matters. It's okay, don't feel like you have to do everything in a specific way. Let's just relax and take things naturally. That works for me. Well then, let's enjoy a casually and leisurely afternoon. Yes! She's so funny doing her research, though. Granny Yuki! Oh, she needs some help. We got two strong ladies right here. <laughs> Why am I carrying it? Hello? Okay. I guess it's hard for us to have a date together when uh, we're literally the sea patrol of the town. Oh great, Julian lost again? Oh, I hit the mic, I'm sorry. I don't think it's very casual or leisure is how we're doing this at all. Julian? Damn, where are we going? At the beach? At the house? This one vacant house. What are we doing? Looking for Julian? He's right there! Well, we're happy to help. Just take care of everything. And that felt much more like we went on patrol than a date. That literally is what happened. It's literally what happened. So it was very a very us thing to do. True. Our date was the opposite of relaxing, but for you and me, that's what qualifies as taking things naturally. Still, it's a shame that our reservation at the restaurant went to waste. <sighs> if I'd known this would happen, I would have packed a lunch for us. Oh, I'd love to try your cooking. Really? You would? Well, if you insist. For our next date, I'll prepare a picnic lunch for two. Perfect! I'm already looking forward to it. No. Hey, now, don't get ahead of yourself. We still have to finish this date before we play in the next. That's oh, right. right, gotcha. Okay, for the rest of today, I'll focus only- I'll only focus on you. What? That's um, would you please not stare at me like that? It's a little intense. <laughs> Sorry, you're the one thing on my mind right now, Letty. Well, my mind also always drifts to thoughts of you. It's become quite a problem. Thinking about me is causing you problems? Yes, it robs me of my focus and clouds my emotions. The, the seed manual... manual doesn't cover the proper procedure for feelings like this. I'm almost tempted to round you up for trespassing into my heart. <laughs> oh, whoa. <laughs> I guess spell seals count as a kind of ring, right? Uh, what do you mean by that? Uh, sorry, it's nothing. Kind of went off on a weird tangent there. No, it's all right. Well then, uh, I think it's about time to call it a day? Yeah, it probably is. Marriage? Already? Um, okay. Oh, what is that? 
Is that the... What is that? Okay, so... Oh no, the pajama party. Oh no. Wait, I have to ask someone out for Valentine's Day tomorrow. Hang on, let me make a save. Okay, while avoiding that exclamation mark for the time being, I'm gonna go ask Riker out for the Valentine's Day. Uh, oh, 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 uh, whoa! I'm clicking the wrong buttons. <laughs> for the Valentine's Day tomorrow. Um, I'm hoping that event will still be there when we reload. Or maybe I'll see it now before we head on to Valentine's Day for Riker. I'm not sure how I want to proceed with this. Surely it will still be there because I made a save right before I came over. But first, let's talk to Riker and ask him out or he asks us out. Yeah. I want to talk to you. You know, Valentine's Day can be a pretty sweet day, but whether or not it actually turns out that way depends entirely on you. What? We don't- you don't want to go on a date? <gasps> Can I not ask them out on dates? Hang on. The problem with this is I know the sleepover is going to take me to Valentine's Day. So if I go do the event first, is what I'm thinking is causing me not be able to ask Riker out. Could I ask someone else out? Well, maybe we just don't see Valentine's Day uh, dates this time around. Though, I, I fear, <laughs> with the pace that I'm going, that we won't see them, because next year we'll probably be doing marriage stuff at this time again. That kind of sucks. I guess we'll just see the event and say screw Valentine date dates. I mean, I just don't know what else to do. I don't know why Riker would um, not ask me out. Dearest. Hi, dearest. Hey there, precious. Did you come to take a dip in the hot springs? Not today. We're having a pajama party tonight, so I came to ask Morikuma if he has any large rooms free. Is oh, sounds so? like fun. And you'll join us, right? Wait, you're inviting me right now? It's a bit sudden, but uh, yeah, sure, I'd love to go. Thank goodness. Yay, now I just know that we're going to have a wonderful girls' night out. Uh, no pressure or anything. I'll do a little... Wait. Can I now ask Riker out? No, I still can't. Interesting. Okay, well then, um, yeah, we'll just do the pajama party tonight. I guess at 7 is when it becomes nighttime. Alright, let's do the pajama party. <laughs> Even though I Darling. wanted to do Valentine dates. It's fine. We can ask them out on white day. I think it's probably the same. Oh my god, Cecil. You're not supposed to be here. It's the girls' night. Oh, here we are. So cute. Fuka literally has the cutest pajamas. Wow. Your pajamas are lovely, Beatrice. Wow, they really wow. are. And the fabric is all silky and smooth. That must feel nice. Uh, thank thank you. you. I love these pajamas, so I just had to bring them with me when I left my family home. I've never given much thought to pajama fabric before. Same. Normally, I don't pay attention to anything but the design. The design matters, Come but so on. does the fabric. You can't, you can't ignore something that important. <laughs> I like my pajamas too, Fuka's. Yours is the cutest. Your pajamas are so fluffy, so tell me, do I really need to worry about the fabric that much? Here we go. But of course, <laughs> my dear, you want it to feel nice and soft when your favorite person touches it. 
<laughs> now, just a moment. Honey, wait, I'm not sure we should steer this conversation in that direction. Oh, uh -huh, but this is a lady's pajama party. Conversations like this are par of the core. And Rigmar has many charming individuals. Do any of you like someone in particular? Considering I'm dating like over half of you, not really. Precious, Beatrice, Lumilla, Scarlet. <laughs> Me neither. I like everyone. <laughs> Luca keeps it real. Well, I'm afraid I don't know yet. I'm hurt. What? I'm assuming this is supposed to be seen out of the context of you dating any of them, so. Oh, come on, you're no fun at all. Well, there's not much we can do about it. Nobody has found their s that special someone yet. But, but I'm sure you, but surely you have Cupcake. I just know that my heart is pining for that s for some sweet soul. Wait, is that true? Honey, don't say stuff like that. It doesn't matter if you actually have someone yet. Just use your imagination. If you could date anyone in town, who would you date? Oh, I want to know too. Come on, who would it be? Uh, if I had to date someone, I'd date... No, don't give me choices. Oh, it's only boys. What the? It's only boys. Boo. Well, who do we choose? We'll be going for, I think, Lucas next for the boys. So maybe we should put Lucas. Or should I go with my favorite guy so far, which would be Riker or Reinhardt? Uh, let's go with Lucas since he will be our next one we're going to be dating. He just acts and feels so mature, you know? I say less mature and more airy and tweak and tweaked and absent minded, but to each their own. Okay, okay, Lumilla. Well, now we know your type. That's very useful information. You have to keep this a secret, okay? Of course, girl talk is confidential after all. It's so exciting to hear other people's romantic opinions. What about y'all? Who do y'all like? How delightful that we trust each other enough to share such secrets. It feels like I've overheard something I'm not supposed to hear. My heart is pounding. Nothing beats getting together for a little girl talk, right? Now who's next? Ugh, Fuka seems pretty sleepy, so I think we should wrap this up. Ah, oh, Fooey, I just I wanted to hear what everyone else had to say. Then we'll have something have something to look forward to next time. Okay, lights out. Alright, good night everyone. Good night. Bro. They only like they only jump on me this time. And then it's Valentine's Day, which I guess I can give cookies to Heinz and Palmo because they're the only two I think that aren't level 10. I had a great time last night. As did I, I would appreciate another chance to engage in romantic discussion. I had so much fun hanging out with you guys. Well, I must be off. Please excuse me. I better get going too. Let's have another pajama party soon, okay? And next time, you'll all tell me about the people you like. See you then. See ya. Well. <laughs> okay. Unfortunate, but I'm gonna grab some cookies and give them to Palmo and Hines. I probably won't show it because it doesn't matter. But yeah, let me show you actually the heart levels. Everyone's level 10, besides the romances that I haven't started. And Scarlet, but she's gonna get there. Palmo, Hines. So we're literally almost done with everyone's heart levels. Just gotta date them. So yeah, I'm gonna give cookies to Palmo and Hines, see if their heart levels goes up. And then we'll go ask Scarlet out, actually, first. Let me, uh... Let me go over there and ask her out real quick. Since we can't do a date. Oh, whoa, where is she? She's gone. Oh, she's outside. Hello? Scarlet, wait. Partner. Um, here. As rangers, we can't allow ourselves to get swept up in today's festivities. Oh, right. Maybe I should talk to my partners and give them cookies. Partner. Okay, can I ask 
ask you out, though? Let's go on a date. Of course I'll gladly go on another date with you. Great, Is let's meet okay? tomorrow at 10 a.m. by the farm dragon, okay? Oh, the farm Understood. dragon. I can hardly wait. I figured a farm dragon might be the best place so we don't, um... Get disrupted by anyone. I think I will go around and get cookies from everyone and give them back. At least for people um, who aren't level 10. And then we'll do Scarlet State tomorrow. Alright, let's do our final date with Scarlet. I told her to meet us at the farm dragon. I don't know what exactly we're doing, but. Probably gonna bring her up there so we're not Sorry bothered. To keep you waiting. Hi, I hope you weren't waiting too long. Shall we go? Up we go. Wow, this, this is, is this is gorgeous. Yeah, consider it thanks for that beautiful sunset you showed me the other day. Amazing. I can see the entire town from up here. Whoa. Careful, it gets a little wobbly close to the edge. Thank you so oh, much. Um, thank you. I almost dropped our lunch. And you actually made one? I yes. said I would. Oh my god, we're so cute. Although I admit it's nothing to write home about. Oh Whoa. wow, it all looks so fresh and colorful. Whoa. Not only that, it's filled exactly to the brim, both white both width and depth. I it took a bit of effort to calculate the exact angles at which to cut every portion so that it matched the curvature and depth of the box. <laughs> Jeez. It looks like a work of geometric art. I wouldn't go that far. I'm just a little particular about how I arrange things, that's all. Besides, how the important part is how it tastes. Time oh, right, eat. let me try a bite. Um, nom, nom, nom. It's really good. Thank <sighs> goodness. Perfectly seasoned, too, let me guess. Yes, yes, I measured each ingredient with careful precision. Mm, I can tell. It's even better than something from the restaurant. In yeah. fact, it's so good I can barely stop myself. Have it all if you like. But what about your house? It's alright, don't worry about me. I'm already satisfied. You are such a strange person, you know that? Huh? Mm -hmm. When I'm with you, I discovered all kinds of emotions I wasn't aware I had. Just seeing you look in my direction makes me happy. Every time I hear your voice, my body turns towards you before I even realize it. I miss you every time you go out on patrol. I'm just hopeless, aren't I? Oh. If I can't see you for a while, I almost feel like crying, and when we do meet again, my heart leaps for joy. When I made this lunch with you in mind, it gave me this indescribable sense of contentment. And seeing you enjoy it with such a bright smile, your face leaves me satisfied, even though I haven't taken a single bite. I've never experienced these emotions before. Partner. They all make me feel so glad that I met you, partner. You've helped me learn and grow and discover parts of myself that I couldn't have found on my own. <laughs> Boy, uh, you're gonna make me blush, but I'm happy that you think that way. I think I'm about to turn red myself. I hadn't meant to say all that. The words it just came tumbling out. In fact, I think I've done all the ta talking today. <laughs> you have to have a turn. Why don't you tell me more about yourself? Like, say, if you're glad you met me at all? Of course I'm glad that I met you. Why would you Thank say you no so to much. that? Really? Thank you. Aren't you going to ask why? Hmm? No, I don't think I will. If my feelings for you grew any greater right now, they might overflow and that would be a waste. Let me save them as a special treat for another time. Yes. So, will you ask me out, get out again sometime? Of course. Yes, of course! I'd take you on a date every day if I could. Goodness, if we spent that much time together, my feelings would spill out all over the place. You can leave it to me. So what do they do? I'll round them all up, lock them in my heart, and throw away the key. Wait, that's cute. Really? They're awfully heavy. I don't want you to feel chained down. I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sure you set up. You're up to the challenge. Oh, the hearts. Cute. That was actually really cute. Okay. Well, that's our last date. Date. I guess we'll start seeing Scarlet events starting tomorrow. All right, we got an event at the silo. Let's see what it's about. Over at Livia's office. Of 
Accordingly, I would like to request an extended leave of absence? <gasps> yes. Given the situation, I fully understand. Request approved. What's happening? Thank you. Thank you, field captain. Now then, I'll be on my way. What's going on, Letty? Partner. You're taking a vacation? Um... Where to and why? I received word that my mother has fallen ill. Oh no. <gasps> oh no, your mom is sick? Wait, sorry, didn't you tell me before that your mom passed away? Yes, my birth mother died when I was young. I'm talking about my stepmother, father's second wife. Oh. I was told she caught some sort of disease. I'm sorry, but I'm in a hurry. I'll see you later. Oh. Boy, I hope her mom gets better soon. Hmm. The, world, the word disease doesn't sit well with me. I've heard that a particular nasty illness has been spreading around lately. I have a bad feeling about this. Uh-oh. But that's... Uh-oh, indeed. Our little town today. So I guess we have to wait for tomorrow? It looks like she's not even here. <gasps> okay, we'll wait till tomorrow. Alright, Scarlet's still gone. I don't know if she's actually gonna be coming back within a day. So we're gonna be waiting for that. But for now, I think this is the eating Feeling contest? Feeling well? Eating contest! We're gonna try to do better than we, what we did last year. All oh, right, I get the bad. I don't care for Lucy's birthday. Who's the favorite to win? Palmo. Did he win last time? I think he won last time. Tell me the rules again. Hit the B button to start eating whatever food is in the table. Press the B button repeatedly to eat even faster. If you want to cho choose something else, the table use the directional buttons. I might set my controller on the table here. And when you start eating something, you have to finish it. You can't leave. Okay, yeah, yeah. I think we're good. Sign me up. We're gonna try our hardest. You're probably gonna hear me press my buttons. Wait, what? What's... The dishes were, are worth more points. A golden turnip are probably worth more. Do not eat failed dishes. We're starting with dishes. Oh, I took it off the table, by the way. I believe in you. Keep fighting. You can do oh, this. Oh fuck! I didn't mean to eat that. Have some fun with it. We can't lose here. Just a little more. Did you make me eat I a failed dish? You can do it! Go for it! You can do it! Have some fun with it! You can do it! Go for ah, it! Ah, ah. Keep fighting! Take them all out! Eat it! I'll Eat it faster! Don't throw away your shot! I won't throw away my shot. You got this, I think. Uh, Give it all you got. Uh, I don't know if we won, but I tried my best. Ah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who won? <laughs> I don't care about your gibberish at this point in the game. Yuki, who else was on there? Thank you. Who could have score f I don't know how many points I had. I don't think I won. I think it was Palmo again. No! Hooray! Oh, wait, we won! Yes! Yes! Next year will be even harder now. <laughs> but this is the first time we won this one, so awesome. <laughs> yes, I thank you. That was amazing. Yes, Congrats yes. I am the best at You're eating. Thank you. Too bad Scarlet wasn't here to see this. All right, all right. All right, what we get? We have an intelligence or whatever. Eat it. Time to eat. We got gauntlets, some food, cabbage cakes, and then cooking bread that we probably can't eat, to be honest. Yeah. All right, so that was the eating contest and we actually won. I'm still gonna be waiting for Scarlet stuff, so we'll see. All right, it took two days for this to pop, so let's uh, see what's going on. 
see what Scarlet has said or what she will say. Oh, no, it's not even Scarlet. What seems to be it? the trouble? Come to see for some advice? Ah, uh, no, Scarlet just got back. Oh, her mom got really sick, right? I hope she's doing okay. As do we all, dear. The last thing we need is a repeat of the last tragedy. Huh? What tragedy? Hey, Scarlet, how's your mom doing? Um, hello. Fortunately, her symptoms were mild. She's in no particular danger and she'll recover eventually. Thank oh, goodness. Phew, I'm so glad to hear that. Scarlet, I'd like to hear the details of her condition. Will you join me at the clinic? I also want to run some tests on you just in case. Better safe than sorry, no matter how mild the symptoms. No. No, that's alright. I feel just fine. No. I insist. After all, an ounce of pre prevention is worth a pound of cure. Alright, I suppose. What is it? What is she sick with? I hope Letty is okay. Do we go over there? No? Okay. I guess I'll wait around to see what we can do. Okay, one thing I found out I don't like about Scarlet's event is that it takes two days for each event to happen, and that's just more time wasted. Why two days? Why? She got back, she went to the clinic, why did it happen in one day? Or like the day after. Hey anyway, now. your mother has Formidover virus? Yes. Oh dear, to catch the Reaper's plague of all things. This so when you said her this. symptoms were light, I was yes. lying. I didn't want anyone to worry. Bro, what is that? Wait, hold on, her life really is in danger? <laughs> no, Scarlet! Letty! Letty! And it's raining? Simon, what's going on here? You heard. We're currently exp excuse me, experiments experiments experiencing an epidemic, and Scarlet's stepmother has contracted something known as the Formado virus. The disease it causes is commonly known as the Reaper's Plague due to how deadly it is. That's not good. And people call it that for good reason. Because its mortality rate is 99.9%. .9%. Oh no. This may sound cruel, but when that's your diagnosis, all you can do is try to make the most of what little time you have left. This but is that's... horrible. Letty is going to lose her mother twice? Go, Alice. Right now, you're the only one whose support she might accept. Bro, that's so sad. Can I see her today? Yes, good. Okay, I need to tell the typhoon to go away, too. And also, the Tricky Treats contest is tomorrow. Oh, God. I'm sorry. I also got everyone to level 10 besides our romance options that we haven't done. So, that's awesome. Alright, Letty. Letty! And it's raining. It just, it just matches the mood, doesn't it? Letty. Judging by your expression, I presume you heard what Simone had to say. Yeah. Y yes. It didn't sound good. She basically said that all your stepmom can do now is make her final arrangements. Exactly. Correct. Not that I'm going to have anything to do with them. It's already obvious how she'll choose to spend her remaining time. Is that so? Really? Yes, in peace and quiet alone with my father. Just the two of them? But what about you? As I told you earlier, my father married her a few years after my birth mother passed away. I had no idea how to cope with the presence of a new love in father's life. She made him happy, so I did my best to play the part of a good stepdaughter. But there's always been an unbridgeable gap between us. Even now, after spending more of my life with her than my, with my birth mother, I still feel that distance. That's sad. This latest incident <sighs> proves it. No one even bothered to let me know she was sick until the situation was dire. When I went to visit, I was simply there. Nobody asked anything of me. No one crested my time. It was a painful reminder that I'm not needed in that household. Therefore, I will respect mother and father's unspoken wishes and let them enjoy the remaining time together without intruding upon them. I don't like that. Uh. I don't like that. That's the most and the least I could do for them. No. How do we fix this? That seems so sad. I guess we wait another day or two days now. I miss you, I miss you, I miss you.